Hello everyone, back now for week two. My audio looks like it's working. My screen hopefully is working. I think I fixed all the technical difficulties from last week. Um, really excited to, excited to get started today. Um, today there's a couple things that I want to try and get through. I'd like to build out more of the UI. There's lots of pieces to it. There's a lot of the different list views. Um, I'd like to tackle the double drawer navigation for the now playing versus the navigation. It's a little tricky to do in forms. Um, I did play with it ahead of time and make sure I could get it working. Um, so I will be copying over a little bit of code to do that and show that off. I'd like to get image loading. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use FF um, image loading. Um, before I used my own custom SVG stuff, I may go back to some of that. It was using end graphics. I may look at doing stuff with Skia. So we'll play with a few different things with UI today and loading in that data. And hopefully these scrolls will, the scroll views, we can keep them nice, fast, and fluid and really get some of the navigation worked out. If we have enough time, maybe we can jump into some audio playback, but there's a lot of UI to do, so I'm not sure if we can get there. I think some of the images and blurs and things like that may take up a bit of the time. All right, so I'm going to switch us over to my code view. And starting out in here, um, where we left off, there's one thing that I really want to change before we jump in. Um, that was, you'll notice whenever we went to log in, or whenever we launched the app, it asked us to log in again. And that's because there's a issue that they created with iOS 9 forward on the simulators to where you can't access the keychain unless you code sign, which is really annoying on the simulator. But it's super easy to fix. I just went to the iOS project settings. If I go to bundle settings and I set a custom entitlement, this entitlement's empty, but all I need is something in there for the entitlements. So now when I log in, let's get this screen up again. If I rebuild it, um, I'll bring it up. I will log in. I'm going to hide you guys really quick. Um, let's log in. Typing in the password now. That one. Yes, all right. So let's bring you guys back. So now the app's logged in, and we have stuff here. OK, so if I stop and start it, this time it shouldn't give me that weird exception in the uh, output. Um, and hey, it didn't ask me to log in again. So we've made progress already today. No more logging in each time. It's really weird that you have to do that on iOS, but that'll fix that if you ever run into that yourself. Um, on device, you don't have to deal with that because you always have to code sign to put it on device. So we're good. All right. Um, let me jump back and show the old one again, just to show what we're going to try and build now. Um, the old one does do a master detail, and it also has this bottom collection view. For now, we're not going to go with a collection view, or we're not going to build a collection view part. We'll get to that. We're just going to put a box down there that can be that we can drag up and down, and the menu on the side. All right, this is going to be fun. So to do this, I'm going to need two master details. The problem is the master detail built in only goes from the left to right. So I actually borrowed some of the rendering code from the iOS one to actually do that so I can do it twice. What we'll do is right now inside of our app, we have all of this, or we have the app setting itself up, creating a main page. I'm going to create a new one called the root view. Add new file. All right, so, oh, not a contents page. Oh, well, close, that's fine. So we're going to have our root view here. And then our root view is actually going to build out or decide based on our platform what it does. Um, actually, I'm going to uh, let me do one other thing. We're going to add something for our navigation. We're going to have a not content page. Let's go to general uh, navigation item. This is what we'll use for our little menu. Actually, let's name it menu item. I like that better. That's what it's called in the old G music anyway. Add new model or file. So this is going to be our menu item. And this will let us tie a page and the navigation together on the side. So for now, we'll just do public. We're going to need something for an image because in the old one, we have these nice little images here. So, hey, Pierce, welcome. All right, so and thanks for the confidence in the chat there. 
Got to remember to bring that to the front. Sorry, I still new to all the streaming and figuring out all the semantics of it. All right, so we're going to have these images. We also have a navigation item that doesn't have anything. Like this one's not really for navigating. Um, but yeah, we're going to okay. So we're going to do a string for the title, and then uh, if I can spell set right, and then we will also do public. Um, I'm just going to log do it straight to a page. Sarah Forbes page and the page. And we'll deal with images later because those are SVGs and I'm not totally sure how, um, what we're doing with those yet. Um, I haven't added them even to the project yet, so we'll get there. All right, so we have menu items. Now I'm going to go over to the old G music and we are going to just borrow that root page and we'll walk through it. Hey, Alex, thanks for following as well. Hopefully this is useful to you guys and you guys get something out of it. All right, root page, it was, did I not copy that? Oh, forms, ah, go to the right one. All right, so inside of pages, we're going to bring over this root page, and we're also going to, I thought I had the navigation. No, that's the side one. We'll deal with that in a little bit. So let's wrap the root page over, um, and we'll just replace, oh, I called it root view instead of root page. Um, delete the old one. All right, so our root page is going to have that navigation item. We just renamed that to menu item. We're going to put these in here. It's just going to be a list of these. Um, for now, we're just going to ignore that. Um, and what I did before was the image sizes defaulted that. We'll just rebuild all this from scratch. So comment that out for now. Um, Again, I had this thing where I did stuff with all my own custom SVG stuff. I think we're going to try to avoid that if possible, see if we can bring things in using some libraries. Last time I attempted this was two years ago, so some of this, this code is really that old. And it is missing things. Did I call that the controls? Yeah, slide up panel. We're just going to bring that over. This slide up panel has really nothing in it. Um, it just says how much the overhang is, and it subclasses master detail. And we do, we'll do a custom renderer to then reorganize all that stuff. All right, um, let's add a, a now playing screen, a now playing page. And we can do this. Um, yeah, we're just going to make that for now. It'll just be a forms content page. Nothing fancy in there, um, but now playing page. So we can put that in there. And um, actually, now page show up. Oh, this is using the old. I need to change this to G Music. Helps when namespaces match. Yay, slide up panel should now show up if I fix that as well. All right, so we'll get the slide up panel in here. Um, OK, it's going now. Now playing page should also. I not? No, oh, this is auto going to views. That makes a lot more sense. All right. So the side navigation page we haven't built yet. We will get there. And for now, yeah, let's just add it in here. It's nothing. Add new file. And make that in there. So we save it. We have a side navigation page. And then songs list page, we already have it. We call it items right now. And we'll fix all that as we get going. All right. So this has some old code because it, you'll notice it does the, I have a create iOS route. The difference, I have two different ones. In order to do the slide up, it needs to be which one needs to be the parent has to be different on each platform. I couldn't figure out how to get it to work on each individual ones. So either the slide out panel is the route or the Android or the master details the root on Android. Um, so I'm just doing a little swap there. I could probably do something a little fancier than that, but that worked really well. I did do an implicit operator to a page. You'll notice this is not a page. I didn't want that extra page object in there. So when you, it'll do an implicit operator, so I can just say new root page, and it'll pass out whatever this root is, which is nice because I set that right here when I create this thing. Um, that covers that. Um, this navigate to, we will fix this later. Uh, what else is in here? On platform is deprecated. We'll want to switch that out to runtime platform. We'll 
fix that later. And I think all this still works, so we're just going to see if it works. If not, we'll update it now. So now we should be able to go to here. Instead of saying a new main page, we'll say a new root page. And our root page right now is going to do two weird master details if I run it, because I haven't built in or I haven't copied over the custom renderers yet. So let's grab those and walk through them once I grab them. Some of this code is just quite a bit to figure out on the fly. As we get going, though, there will be less and less of this me copying and pasting. Right now, we're just at a bunch of problems that I've already solved. So let's copy over some renderers to the iOS. Yep, copy that, and we're going to fix some namespaces. Hey, this one's all nice G music, except for this. Okay, I don't know what G music is iOS. So we're just going to do the export render to swap these things out. You'll notice it's basically the same exact code from the master detail that already exists. Um, I do, it is, does change though, so when you're dragging, go down to that, it updates it horizontally. So, okay, here's pan gesture stuff. I can't remember, if I, no, this was my code from the old G music. I just brought that over. We will need to bring this thing back. I ignore touches if you're inside a slider or I have a special volume bar because when you're, typically when you're, um, yeah, with the volume bars are sliders, so it just ignores that. So that way, if you're clicking and you're dragging, it doesn't, it shouldn't, deal with any of your flyout stuff. All right. And what's it complaining about on this? Oh, simplify that. Okay, simplify code. All right. So basically it's the same thing except ignore certain things on touches. And yay. All right. So let's go grab the Android one as well because we don't want this one to fall behind and we'll run both to show how it looks. Add new folder. There's the nice thing I do like about forms, and everyone hates doing custom renderers. And whenever possible, we don't want to jump into re render. We don't want to jump into renders because it's platform-specific code. When you want to do things that aren't out of the box in forms, I like how you can always drop down to these renderers. And there's truly nothing we can't do inside of here, which is one of my favorite things about it. All right, so oh, that's under views, right? Nope, just under straight G music. All right. Uh, stop change on me. I think on mine I had. What did I do? I did something funky there on mine. I think I just made a static one, which isn't the best, but it works for what I'm trying to do. Yep. Exactly what I thought I did. All right, so we just put a shared in here and then equal this. So whenever it starts up, I have access to it. Should be okay. What's this complaining about? Does not. Did we they change this interface on me since I was last here? Okay, we might not be doing Android yet right now because oh, well, let's see if we can fix it. What's it saying that I have not implemented? So let's see what it threw at the bottom compared to what I had. Actually, what did I, what am I missing? Because I might already have it partially done. Okay, and then I did grab the anchor bottom sheet. That was, for some reason I believe that's in a package I'm missing. What was my old packages? Anyone remember where that thing lives in? In one of the supports? Look that up before I did this. So I have app compat support. Might have been not the card view. Cycle. I can't remember which one this is in. All right, we'll fight this later. I don't want us to get stuck too far on this thing. We'll just comment that out for now and let's run the iOS one. Hopefully it all builds. I should make my window over so you guys can see the whole thing. Perfect. Okay, so let's jump into Build Airs. Yay, Build Airs.
Um, all Android ones. All right. I really messed something up the Android. Come back and fight another day on Android. All right. What did I not set that I was supposed to? Okay, so title property must be set on the page. So I must have set that before. So that's title equals set it to that for now. We'll come back to that and make sure I do that right. Excuse me. All right, we'll run this again. Property must be set on the master page. That is setting it there, master detail. Just set a... Thought I set that already. Try that again. All right, let's run it. Sorry, I have a visitor. As I mentioned, the joys of working from home, I will have visitors once in a while. <laughs> Stuart, I'm in a meeting. All right, Pro title property. Which title am I not setting? I set this one. Let's look at the stack. Watch this, create iOS root, page constructor. All right, so slide up panel. I'm not setting its type. No, I did, I set it in the, I did it inside the constructor. Title set. Master detail, I set the title. This one I might not set the and this one needs a title. Fix all these so they're not just hard coded to G Music later and I'll get the titles right to them. Hey Sweeky, welcome back. All right, yes. All right, so now we have this little slide up thing that's 50 pixels high, which we're probably going to want to make that a little bit taller. It's kind of small there, and it's just that content page. And then we have our second navigation on the left there, which isn't exactly what I want. I'm going to want to wrap this stuff in navigation panels and all that fun stuff. But hey, check it out. We've got some double drawers. I like double drawers. They're very useful for certain things, especially when we start dealing with the now playing screen. So the now playing screen actually gets a little complicated as well. In the old one, if you watch the animations, watch the text. See how the text comes in from the bottom? This thing dynamically lays out. And the text actually comes up and replaces up at the top for when you have it in the full screen or the mini one, you don't see that text. Then as this goes up, it's going to go all the way up and the text moves around. We may play with doing some complex layouts and actually making it do that. That was really, really hard to get right really hard. So um, I may or may not tackle that. But this view is actually taller and that top part should pop off the screen when it's in full screen. And I can't remember if our stack does that now. Go back. Oops. We go back. No, it doesn't. So we'll need to deal with that overhang and actually make it overlap when it goes full screen and all of that fun stuff. So I might just do that top bar that overhangs and disappears and then we'll do the rest of it there. All right, so let's jump in and start filling out some of these screens. Um, actually, let's finish the navigation. Why have I not finished that? All right, and I want to check what I was doing on my old one really quick, just for the navigation side panel. Just because, oh, I actually did it with the full thing with the, there we go, we'll fix that. And I did set, hey, I set the title to G Music right there. Perfect. You know, we are just going to delete it, recreate it, and make it a XAML one. Feel that XAML. XAML is not going to work perfectly because the old one does have my SVG image loading, which we're not going to have yet. Um, like I said, we might jump in. Let's try FFmpeg or the FF image loading one. So used to doing the audio and video stuff, I always go to FFmpeg. It's what comes to my mind. All right, so we've got this title. Uh, wait for the, there we go. Title equals music. Um, we also need to wrap stuff in navigations. 
to do do grab this code. This code is really, really, really simple. It's just doing a list view with a data template that sets all that binding stuff up, including an image. Where image stuff is not going to work yet, and fix namespaces now. Off. And does it do? Did what did it make it? Magimusic.vs. So when I forget to do this, and then nothing works, and I can't figure out why, I'm like, right? You should actually copy things right. All right, perfect. Uh, this one I'm just gonna copy and paste this code in here. Um, this code is going to be very, here it's not a navigation item, it's a menu item, root page dot navigate. On my old one, I did have this, we're going to bring up, we're going to make this back to menu item. All right, menu item, I thought I did add the page. It's forgetting what I've done and haven't done yet. That. Menu item has a page. Okay, it just hadn't caught up yet. I was like, why is it complaining? We had that. All right, so it's going to grab the right page, grab the selected item, navigate it off, and should move along nicely. And this auto binds to a property called, I call it, item source is called items. So root page, we have this up at the top called items. Okay, so let's do new menu item. The old one would pass in what the, the title would be, um, then the SVG, and then the page that goes with it. So we can, oh, is there a menu item? Menu item. There's two menu items. It's confused as to which one. Never informs has a menu item now. All right, let's rename mine back to navigation item just for kicks because I don't want issues. And I know I could refactor, but I still don't want it all freaking out. Actually, let's refactor. If it freaks out, we'll fix it. All right, refactor, name, navigation item now. Now if we jump into our root page, it didn't because everything's the wrong stuff. That's fixed. Navigation item. All right. So we have our navigation items. We will we have it as a page. We're gonna add in public navigation item string title. Um, I'm not gonna do the SVG. We'll add that back when we're ready. Let's do. Sometimes I force this stuff through a constructor. Sometimes I don't. I love. Actually, we're not gonna force it. That way we can do something clever on whether or not there's a page thing or not whether it should, <laughs> whether or not it should refactor. Uh, thanks, Wiki. Always trying it some, it works 90% of the time. It's just when you have two types that have the same thing, you never know. <laughs> I have a visitor again. He thinks it's funny. I picked this time of day because normally they're out doing things, but today they are home playing. Okay, so <laughs> let's jump back over to Totally lost my train of thought. All right, I was at the root view declaring this stuff. All right, so right now we only have two screens. We have a, what are our two screens? Our two screens are um, the artists and the songs. And so we'll want to build new, build more of those. So new menu or navigation item. Hey, and the refractor, reflection, no, oh, that's just all. I was gonna say, did it actually refactor actually do it inside of there too? All right, so here we're going to do strings because I have my localization class, which will go and grab all those titles. So I can just say strings.songs, and it will bring in the right localized one. And we'll do new items page. And then we're going to do new. And let's do string.artist. No problem with the name it strings is sometimes I don't hit the extra S and I go right into the string class. Artists, I think it defaulted to strings. I just never changed it. All right, new um, artist page. Now, artist page isn't even completed out, but it's enough to display something. 
Why is this complaining? Oh, I didn't do it as... I just decided I wasn't going to do that right when the distraction came. That... The initialization syntax, so I do use this most of the time. And then... Wrong closing brace, that one, not that one. All right, we have items. All right, so now we have that. That should auto bound. I bound this, the details. I have before. Let's go check. I can't remember, and I want to make sure I do that right. I don't think I set it to that. The details to the. I don't think I manually set it. I don't think I set it until something selects. What I eventually do is I will default you to the correct one of whatever you had last. I save a settings whenever those changed. And so I can auto navigate you back to that index because if you, yeah, force quits, you should start relatively back where you started or where you were or you just came back. Because if you're always on the on a certain screen, you're probably always going to be there. It's your favorite screen. For me, that's radio. I like having the randomness, so I use the radio page a lot. Right, that, and I did do it as the song list page. For some reason, I didn't think I did that. All right, we'll fix that later because we're going to want to figure out wherever they were last. For now, we'll just say they're on the songs page. All right, let's run this and hope we should have a navigation now on the side. And we don't. All right, not menu item, that's why. Navigation, item. Hotkey for adding that is command option spaced. We'll auto add that using one you'll see me use a lot. All right, so run this. See if this goes. Okay, so we have the songs page. We have artist, and it switched. Yay! We have navigation. It's ugly navigation. Um, but me navigating too fast with a refresh. Cannot access is disposed. All right, I have a race condition of some sort. Something is blowing up. Find that. I wonder if that's on my side or on forms. Tech cell renderer. It is not on my side. On property change. So the event's hooked into something that's disposed. All right, glad it's not my side. Need to file a bug on that or see if I can track it down and fix it. All right, so we're going to ignore that for now and hope we don't run into that again. All right, we'll run. I just want to see if it's going to blow up again. It had to do with the refresh or property changed, I'm guessing. I killed that. That happened like instantly. All right, sale table view. I wonder if we can figure out from the stack trace which one it is. All right, so from that stack trace, I wish I could make this window. If I zoom this in, oh, it is going to zoom it in. Yes, I can zoom in that way for you guys. Ah, zoom in. All right, I can't see chat or anything else right now while we zoom in on this. If you say something, I'm sorry. Okay. Something wrong with my bindings, the way I'm hooking into something, but I shouldn't be. Excel renderer. I am using the text cell in my menu. I wonder what property changed. Most people don't use these text cells and stuff. Most people build their own views, which we might be doing eventually anyway. But it still shouldn't blow up there. All right. Yeah, we're going to need to jump in and figure out what's going on there later. Let's see if it's going to blow up on me every time, and if so, we'll try a view. Um, so the shell stuff, I not I've thought about using the shell stuff, but I'm not sure if it will work with my double navigation. I haven't tried that yet. Um, I haven't played with shell enough to do that. Um, it might work just fine because I'm doing a custom render for this, and maybe we should just do shell. That might work worth a shot and then we wouldn't get this crazy exception hey i didn't get it that time i wonder if it happens well that okay that's done refreshing i wonder if it happens while it's refreshing if i do it too quick 
and now it's not going to rep. Worse. Not reproducible now. So yeah, maybe we should try shell for the main master detail and instead of my own. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't. I was worried if it would or not. So maybe it will. Um, yeah, can't hurt to try it. Really can't. So, all right. Um, should we do that now? I'm going to have to look up documentation if we do that because I have not done that yet. So I wonder if instead of looking up documentation, I can be totally lazy and do... Oh, I need to be on 4.0 beta for that? All right, I'm not switching channels right now. We'll deal with that later. Maybe next time we'll convert it over to the shell stuff because the shell does entice me, but it takes care of your navigation, and I have no idea what it'll do with me also doing crazy stuff. Eh, it's all right. We'll come back to shell stuff later. So let's build out some views. Let's jump in, and for one, we're going to ditch this item details page because we don't need it anymore. It's really not needed. Um, now, I probably just broke something by doing that, so let's just make sure this builds. Pretty sure it was referenced somewhere. And it was on item selected. So we're just going to just comment that out. I comment out code way too much. I should just delete, especially since I'm never going to bring that back. Unselected on a song, it's actually going to push that thing on. All right, so now we're going to refactor this guy. And so my mouse right now is double clicking whenever I right click. That's why you watch my menu pop up or not. And I don't know what's causing that. It's really annoying. And so you'll watch me try really hard to get menus and I can't. All right. And then rename it here. Oh, of course it jumps down. Songs page XAML. Do some more manually renaming because it doesn't understand these. And in here, let's jump. All right, I think I've done all the renaming needed. Half the time I just recreate these because they're such a pain to rename them all. All right, so let's rebuild that now. I should fix that. Why did it not regen? Songs page, that's right. I wonder if it's something in the CS proj. Let's go check that out. So. Music, this, let's go, yes, code, fancy in there, that should rebuild, so let's just jump over, all right, my old VS is freaking out, I switched branches, aha, what's that, items, right, that's weird. It was called items list view. Something really weird happened with my, or I had pasted something weird in there. That was the problem. How in the world did I do that? I don't remember typing in there. All right, either way. Um, we're also going to want to ditch this toolbar because you can't just add a song. That's not needed. Simplify. All right, we're probably going to want to build out some view models. Last time I just cheated not doing that. Um, Yes, um, I definitely want to do the collection view stuff. I'll probably, what I was thinking is, I don't always like the collection view. Some people do. So for like the artists, I mean, not artists, albums, I'll, be, well, I'll want to let you switch between the two styles, a list versus a collection view. So I will be moving towards that stuff. Um, just not ready to, so we will, I will when I get there. For now, I want to get everything doing in a list view and actually make sure things work. And what did I blow up? All this navigation, the main page is gone. It's dead. It's dead to me. Delete that. All right. Let's build that again. <laughs> I will switch to the 4.0 stuff live for you guys. Don't worry. And I probably won't do that ahead of time. We're almost past all the things that I've done ahead of time to try out. Right now, I've... Um, like I said, about two years ago, I tried porting this to forms. And some of the things that I did with my SVGs, I don't have to do anymore, which is another thing that excited me about doing it now. So I will be, um, we're almost past all this, all the my known issues. Um, like I said, I haven't had old SVGs with the new style and how stuff now works. I did not want to go full screen. I just was closing a bunch of those. Just close all. 
make sure this builds. Um, but I will jump through a bunch of hoops I've never done before soon. I just wanted to get some of the basics. Um, I, some of my audio stuff I'm going to copy over. Playlist handling stuff is just crazy and now playing and the current playlist is. I'm going to bring a lot of that stuff over. There's a couple things I didn't like, so I will redo it. I lose some context with how I store data. So we'll redo some of that. My audio playback, I want to redo parts of it, but I'm not going to lie. I am going to cheat and bring over some parts of it. Actually, my packages are out of date, so might as well update them. I'm not going all the way to 3, though, sorry, or 4, sorry. Um, cause this one's on 3.5, and that's on 3.6. So let's just update more packages. Can't go wrong updating packages, right? Uh, on this update of the packages, I know sometimes you have to for the XAML relay. I had to restart the browser. Let's hope I don't have to. Okay, so let's just jump over to some views. Right now we have songs. We have an artist view. Let's add in an album view because we need albums. We're going to need genres. Just keep going with this content view. And I might create a base class because you'll notice that these albums, artists, and genres, there's, there's basically nothing between them. We will start doing some more generic things because we will reuse the song views. Um, once you tap into a playlist, a playlist is will just have a list of songs, and so I'll reuse a lot of the stuff. Um, I might even just go down to binding everything to my base item and using a nav or using one of the templates to switch between it, because then we can create a view cell for songs, artists, albums. We can just reuse these on all the pages. I haven't quite decided the route we're going with that. So we'll have some fun, and hopefully you guys have some input on ways of doing. Let's keep updating. I agree to your terms, I hope. All right, so artist genres. I haven't done albums yet. Let's add some albums in there. And my stream hasn't cut out yet. We're, this is actually working today. I'm so glad. Yeah, everything. You can still see my screen. I'm just so excited. That was so painful last time. All right, and the album's details page is going to be different than a standard song one's. Um, the ordering's different for one. I also do do a different song list. Um, I will jinx it if I want to, Sweeky. Um, but it's, yeah, the song list should be different. You get a different header. It should look better. There's, you show the album art, so, and you don't show the album art on each individual cell because there's album art. Actually, I should go over to the code and steal the album manager. As I mentioned, or the artwork manager. I use managers for everything, my downloader, my equalizer, my logs, everything. I just like having a manager. I can swap them out when needed per platform and do all kinds of crazy stuff if I have to. All right, but for now, we're going to grab this artwork manager. And this artwork manager is nice because what it lets you do is... As I as I've mentioned before, we have this base class for everything. Uh, music, change everything. Music. All right, that gives us our artwork. But I have this base media item, or media item base that has everything, and it deals with all of. Um, yeah, I can just then say, okay, I just need art for this media item. And it will do things based off albums, arts, just, or radio stations. I do things differently for a playlist. A playlist will actually get you an array of images because I actually show the four images just so you can see what's in it, which is kind of fun. And before I did some really fancy things where if there was only one, it would show one image versus four. We may jump into some of that fancy stuff again. Um, yeah, and I do the same thing for genre. So anything that's a collection. Album makes no sense because it should be the same artwork for all of them. Okay, perfect. There, right. Images and sizes. So I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this on this. On the old G Music, what I would do was I would get the screen size. And I would say this is the screen size, the maximum screen size it could be. And I would always download high res images for the maximum size. So that way, if you were doing stuff on offline, I cached them. And I would just resize them before I displayed them so they didn't take up a bunch of um, bunch of memory. But this would let me always show you non-pixelated data if you didn't have non-pixelated data if you didn't have internet or you're working offline mode. And also it fixes the issue of caching because if I'm caching in a bunch of different sizes, 
that may be fine, may not. It's just it's weird if like one screen shows an artwork be artwork because it's downloaded there, and another place it doesn't because it's a different screen size when you're in offline mode. So rather than aggressively pre-caching everything, I just cache as needed, and I would just always grab the largest size possible. I don't know if I want to continue doing that. Um, for now, I'm going to, just to make it easy on us. So inside of helpers, let's do, we're just going to create a static class called images. Put a nice big to-do in here to fix this. And that, all right. Max size. One thing that's nice about the Google images, if I add on the size I want, it will automatically just get it at that size. You just put in one because uh, I'm artworks all square. If not, it'll just give me a generic size. So maybe we'll just go with that for now and not deal with it. Well, I don't know what's going to be best. So public static. This is a static class. We're just going to say, um, what did I call that? Called that album art screen size. Awesome name. Okay, and then it can be overridden too. Okay, oh, this is an int. Actually, it's a float, but int's close enough because it you don't want the decimals anyway. All right, so now on the iOS side, we will go into the app delegate. Before I had like an app init that I do where I just do everything for each platform, but for now we'll just throw this in here. Images dot album art screen size equals n math dot max, and we will say um, dot main screen dot bounds dot width again. Dot height. So this will say this is the max size it can possibly be, which is pretty big on an iPad. And I know we're going to lose stuff. We're going to we're just going to cast it off to an int. So now we'll have a screen size that we can pull these things out. Like I said, let's yeah, we'll just go with that for now. So we'll now have this artwork manager. We'll always just say artwork manager grab the largest artwork, and we'll just, it'll give us back a URL so we can download this and bind it. We might want to make this really easy on us. I know typically I'd create another view model, but I hate creating extra, extra objects. It's more things for the garbage collector. You run into lots of issues, especially on Android with that. I'm probably going to put something here. I have it already? No. All right. So on our media base side, we're just going to do, and I want to make sure I ignore this so it doesn't, and I don't think I actually JSON serialize this thing anywhere. I'm going to put an ignore for our database so it won't insert this anywhere. Oh, there was a new one just a couple hours. Okay, that's why I had an update. Um, New Xamarin Forms. We're testing it live, guys. All right, so we're going to do a public string. Um, and on here, we will, and having it this way, it shouldn't insert into the database since it's only going to have a getter, not a setter. But we'll do artwork manager dot share dot um, get artwork. Oh, it is an async task. That is right. I don't know, because I always await it getting it. I'm not sure how, I wonder if I can do an asynchronous thing with um, FF image loader or whatever. We might have to do something creative with our creative with this stuff anyway. Okay, well, the other thing we can do is if we're doing this with cells, doing this with cells makes it really easy. All right, you know, I'm just going to put this here anyway. Get artwork self. What have I? What code have I been writing lately? All right. So this is a little ugly. I'm not sure I like this. I'm probably going to remove this because I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm not sure how I'd bind that. Um, ooh, visual materialized stuff. I'll look into that later and see what new stuff we just got. All right. So artwork URL, I'm not sure I like this. All right, 
let's come in here and let's build some cells. So we will do a new, oh, no folder. So inside of views, I wonder if I should just put into views and just create some cells. You know what, let's just throw them all in here. Might nest these puppies. All right. So we will do a content view, and we are going to call this, um, let's just call it song. You know, if we do the media item base, that can deal with that. I don't know. Let's just go a song cell. All right, so we're going to do, I'll need to wrap that. It'll just be a song. Yeah, just do song you cell. All right, so the problem that I'm running into is I'm going to nest an image view in here, right? I'm going to want to be able to dynamically tell it, hey, I've now got this image URL, and I'll need to know when to get those. Um, that's the problem with all the magic, all this magic binding stuff, which can be fun because binding's not necessarily needed because this stuff doesn't ever change. Um, stuff is static, so I don't even really need two-way binding. I wonder if I like the approach I'm going. What I could do is on binding context, yeah, I'm not, I'm trying to think the right way to do this. These, this artwork's interesting because it's an async property, it's an async method to get it, which normally properties aren't async. And I need to do it async because we have to go hit the database, check between where it's coming from. There's and technically it should be fast, so I could dot result it, but I'm not going to be that lame. I might be that lame just for this purpose, and then we'll fight this fight later. I'll do some some thinking and try a few things out. All right, I'm going to be lame, guys. Do not follow what I'm doing here. We're going to go back to this base media item. We are going to just dot result it, which I know, I'm sorry, is hideous, and I don't believe in this. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. We're going to put a ah, wrong button. We are going to, not the log, we're going to go back to the source. Um, we are going to do a big fat to do fix this ugly mess. This should never happen. Not release with this code. All right. Also, I do like to throw these in here because I do go through into my pads and I normally have my tasks enabled. Um, oh, I must have already had it there. So that way I know what I need to go through and fix. I love these to-dos and I throw them around and I try and bring these, fix these as much as possible. So I'm sorry, guys, this is really ugly. Don't do that. All right, but that'll make it really, really easy for us to code for now. And we can set up our view, since that's what I really wanted to focus on today, was getting view set up. There's also something else that's trickier that I'm not sure whether FF Image Loader can do. My default album artwork is an SVG. And I want to be able to say, hey, here's the default image. Use the SVG until um, you download the real image. So um, I do, sometimes, you know, I just do to-do most of the time rather than fix me. Um, it's just what I do. Um, sometimes I'll do a fix me, but I just do to-dos because it's old habit. It's what I've always written, and to me, I know i got to take care of it anyway. So maybe that one's ugly enough to get both. Um, please don't do that, guys. We will not ship that way. I will find the right way of doing it. So, I mean, we can look at the old code. And what I did before, um, so a loading template, would that let me switch between an SVG and an image from a URL? Because what I did before was I would actually cache the SVGs in certain resolutions um, just on the first launch because I'm going to keep reusing these. And I want to do that anyway. So if FFmpeg or FF image loading doesn't properly cache those SVGs, I don't want to draw those all the time because that default image we're going to use a lot. And some of the other icons we're going to use a lot. So I would typically cache them in, in resolutions per device. Um, I maybe bring that code back just because I like how elegant it was, and you'd notice a slight delay the very first time. It actually wasn't noticeable. So it would be super fast um, to load these up. Yeah, I'll definitely check out Pepper's GlideX thing. Um, but I would just 
load those off to an image or a bitmap, um, save it save it as a PNG to the op to the disk on the device, and then I could load those up. What was really nice about that was I was able to abuse um, tabs or any of the navigation items and forms you require to pass it a file image. So I would subclass file image source with my SVG image. And at that point, I would be able to, if it doesn't exist, quickly write it out to disk. Now, um, and I would block there just because it had to exist ahead of time or forms would blow up or wouldn't be happy. So the first time you'd have a slight hit while well, it does cache it out, but from then on, you'd never see that. And we're talking small images, so it was not a noticeable hit at all. And I had a pre-cache thing as well to where I could pre-cache some of those. Um, so I may jump back to that because I really, really liked it. It was using end graphics. I may switch it over to use Skia. At the time, Skia didn't exist. The Skia's SVG stuff didn't exist when I first wrote G-Music, and end graphics works really, really well. So did I jump? This is the new okay, we're still in the new one. All right, so let's try and get a view of one of these cells. We're just going to – we'll deal with cells in a bit, and we'll for now just – start out with these songs and we're going to jump into our songs page and for now it's a stack layout. Um, I tend to for these use the built-in ones um, rather than doing my own stacks but for now we're probably we're just probably switch this to a grid because I'm going to do the image on the left and then what's the old let's look what the old ones look like just to make sure I'm not crazy and I can remember. All right so the old songs um, yeah because I would do and then I would also throw in like little things. This one has a video that you can play. And I always talk, thought, thought about may, telling which video, which source it came from. If you have Google and YouTube and OneDrive and everything else, you could have the icon. But I didn't want to over clutter this UI, so I never did. Um, yeah, for now we'll do that. Also, you'll notice that the one that's playing gets faded out because it has a live, um, not equal, visualizer that as it's playing will actually bounce stuff along. I do it now. Playback was all broken. I forgot. Oh no, that's gonna play. I probably shouldn't play this loud so I don't get. Why is that? I don't know why that's not playing. It's downloading. Once it downloads, it should be able to play. So I'm probably doing something wrong there. Once again, we'll fight audio playback later. But it does a little visualizer there, so this cell's a tad bit com complicated. But all right, we'll just start with this. We will do. You know, I'll just do two stacks because forms optimized the stack a while ago, and they're easier to deal with. So we're going to do a new stack here. Stack layout, um, orientation equals horizontal. And we in here, let's close that out. Control I to reformat my code. So we'll have this one. We will have, um, I need to add the FF image loader, like I said, we were going to use. All right, so we were going to jump into dependencies. Let's add a NuGet. Uh, loading, image loading. We are going to try those out later. We'll grab this one, add package. I can never remember the proper using thing to go at the top. So I did bring up their stuff ahead of time. And let's just go into sample. We're going to go into image sample forms, shared pages. This to view cell. This to, I'll show it. All right, so they're doing a view cell. We will. I don't know if I need their animations, but for now, we're just going to copy this. Yes, yes. I copy and paste code. Especially if I hate this little top section thing. It is the thing about using what's that name browse image page. That's we're going to need to kill that because that's a song page. All right. So did I add that in the right place? All right. Let's control I. I'm missing something, or I copied and pasted something I shouldn't have. What's this end with? That looks right. What does that? Oh, we have an extra. That shouldn't be in there. All right, so now I can format that. Um, let's grab really quick this cached image. That image height is too big. I think mine were around, I don't remember what mine was. Can look that up just to make sure it's consistent. Look up what my cell height is too. Um, so the old G Music had 
inside of each platform. There is a media item cell, which everything basically I don't media item cell had the had the sizes on it, so I had constant heights for the and then title image with 35. Yeah, I can't remember if that's what I said. Um, but I would lay out all the things manually. Um, I've just been doing that since the beginning because all the old iOS stuff was really slow and really, really bad. So just how I always laid my code out, I couldn't help myself. So I like having layouts now. But so let's do this. We will say image and fill. Let's put this to 35, 35. Now this is going to request an image that's way too big. There was something, I can't remember what we had to do. There was something on here for the resizing. Now we're going to jump back over to our art manager. Oops, oh, I do not want to. Second, I almost opened Slack. I don't want to do that right now. All right, so let's jump over to the artwork manager. And we're going to, yes, thank you for force quitting Slack. I do not want to reopen the For now, we're just going to return it without that size so it's not too big. So return. So we're just going to do it right here. Let's throw a to-do in here. Visit when I figure out image sizing. All right, so now it'll just give me a default size and yay, it'll look good. Also, I'm probably going to have to change the things for, I'm pretty sure the artwork is HTTP, not HTTPS. I'm probably going to have to change it so Apple will let us load things that are not secure. Okay, so for that, cached name, what's this thing bound to? Placeholder, these aren't going to work. Delete that now. Down sample is set to true. That's nice about grabbing sample codes. They set all the fa fancy flags for you. Um, binding is not set though. All right, so let's add in, or it was binding and I missed it. Sample aspect height. Don't you just set the bindings on those things? Am I missing something? Is of using library live on the air. That custom cell. Guest. It's probably called image or something like that, isn't it? Source. All right. So there was no source set on that that I saw. So a nice thing about when I was talking about doing the image cell is if I have this thing bound out to an image, I can set the source to equal the or to equal the SVG, swap it over to then once I have the URL and I'm ready to download, then set it over to the right thing. So we may be doing that anyway. Binding equals, what I call that thing, inside our media item base. Artwork URL. Okay. Now we should, let's put some breakpoints in here to make sure things are hitting. Um, let's run this and see if we now have images on our songs. And once that's done, we can do it for albums as well. And we may be creating a base class of the item thing. I, I did it on my old one just because I constantly use those, but it might not be worth it in how simple XAML is. With those layouts, it was really useful to relay things out manually or to only do it once. Okay, load, load. Get some artwork in here. We're also going to want to ditch the automatic height heights that we had set up. Man, I was hoping I'd get farther than this. Up. It's locked on getting the artwork. It's doing something on the main thread. Told you don't do the result. That thing was evil. Why is that getting hit already? And then get artwork. We had a break. Let's put a breakpoint in here and see what's going on. Something's locked with the database. This is why I said don't do that. It's evil. Okay, and what thread are we on? All right, let's just step through this and see if we can find 
Okay, it's locking up here. All right, we're just gonna have to fix this. It's not gonna work. Ah, oh, I knew that was bad. All right, so let's fix this. Put this back to a task string. And so we're probably going to have to create that cell instead. Actually, I wonder if this would work. Will it know what to do with an async thing? What's the worst thing that's going to happen? It's going to blow up us. Uh, if it can handle this, I'm going to be in love with this library. If not, maybe I should add a pull request where it can figure that out. Oh, it might do it. <laughs> Sweet. Wow. What was I fretting about? Oh, but I don't see any images. It got the URL. It called that. Uh, we don't have images. All right, I'm still very happy so far. I just want to see where that thing's calling from. I know. I'm shocked it can do that. I mean, it makes sense. All right, so this is being called from get artwork, which is being called from albums get artwork. Oh, wait, 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 why is this being called? Maybe it's not being, maybe it doesn't do what I think. Why is this get all artwork being called? That's the real question. Oh, it's from the artwork manager. That's getting called from get artwork. Why don't I see that in the call stack? Huh. Okay, it's not going to work, but that I really, really thought it was for a second there. I wonder if we can put some of the logging in to the FFM or FF image loader and see why. Because that would just be decent. All right, let's do this the right way then. Let's, are you? As far URL equals that. A thing. Should be public casing task. That. Oh, right, right, because it is casing here. No, maybe I can't do that. All right, so we're going to break this into two parts. That way I can cheat. All right, so we have this. Where am I at? Do I just want to be able to put a breakpoint in there and see what's coming back and make sure it's working, and see if some whatever it is is properly waiting it. Um, so we're just gonna do. That our URL equals that. Um, it's freaking out. Well, okay, did I type the right thing? Did I do there? That should be. Oh, I don't need those. Right, I'm not doing it all magical. And then this should be a oh, wait. All right, so now I can just do that. Oh, come on, don't overwrite stuff. And now I can put a breakpoint here. We're getting that URL. I just want to see call stack stuff. Oh man, look at the time. I just want to see if I can fix this. No, uh, I just want images up. Once we have images, we can move. I just want to make sure we at least get images. All right, so this is being called from get that get artwork, which is all from binding contexts. I wish it would tell you in the call stack what the objects types were. So it's from the list view renders. So this is definitely happening from our list view. I press return.
Okay, so now jumping into get our URL. And I'm just going to copy this just to make sure we have artwork. I just go to that URL. Yay, we have artwork. And an OK size. Actually, not a bad size. So we'll plus next. Now it's going to return that. What was I trying to see? What is happening inside the right? Is being awake. Not cool. That would have been amazing. All right, so to fix that, what we will do is we will need to do that song cell that our, I started. So we will do a song view cell, and we're going to jump over to our songs page. We are going to just steal all this. Actually, how'd they do their template there? I'm pretty sure it's what I want to do. Um, not pages. They had it as a list item cell. Okay, yeah, they subclass view cell. That's all I was checking if that's what I want to start with. All right, so we are going to inside of here. So we're going to subclass view cell, and I'm going to need to go over here. We are going to grab. We're just going to start there, and we're going to put this in here. This is where having a proper view model is nice, but I don't like doing that. Well, I mean, we might have to, but I don't think we can. I think we can do this all on binding context change. OK. So we'll have this view cell thing. If I jump into the code behind, whoa, that is not what it's supposed to do. That is really, really funny. All right. I don't know why I'm seeing every class under there. All right. So now, if inside of here we override on by binding, I thought there was a make this the right type. All right. Override on binding context changed. Yay. So here I could just, I was going to say song. You know, we're going to go with the media item base because that's all we need for right now. And then might, yeah, it's media item base. Right. That doesn't look like going. That's what it's called, and I typed it right. Yeah, I didn't type it right. I did not. I had a typo somewhere. All right. So what we will do is we will do async task. Actually, I'm just going to do it as a void because of where we're doing this at. Update artwork. OK, so now on binding context changed, we will say binding context equals this dot binding context. Call this old or current. Name. Why isn't the rename popping up? Actually, I don't even think I need to save it. Yes, I do. No, I don't. All right, we're not going to do that. And we're going to say media item base item. This will be even slicker. All right, so we'll just say update artwork. And we'll pass in binding context. The reason I'm passing it in is I'm going to await something. Var URL equals await item dot get dot artwork URL. All right, I'm going to await this thing. And so when it comes back, item if I, uh, sorry, so, and I could save that so we don't have to do this every time. Ah, this will be fine. Yeah, that would be an optimization while scrolling so we don't have to constantly check it. I'm going to do that. And then we'll try and finish up this stream. All right, so inside of here, we have our item base. Let's just save this puppy. So then I could even, that's right, string. Um, If yes. 
row. Make sure that's not. All right, so if it has something, we'll just return it. Now, we may move that along, like I said before. I'm not sure if I like that. Okay, why is that saying? Oh, because it doesn't have parentheses dot artwork URL. And I probably don't need it as a property now since, oh, well, fix that later. Because it's weird to have it as a property and then a waitable. I find that really weird myself. So I don't know if I like that. Um, but we'll fix that. Binding context. As media item base. Fix that spacing. And first we'll need to do a check. Say if item is. All right, so now we'll grab that thing out. You can't just do question mark dot because then I'll await a null and you can't await a null. I ran into that before, it's sad. Be nice if you could, can't. All right, so we'll want to do, what is that thing called? Image dot, um, what's that called? So it's image, it's the source. Of course it's called the source. That was called image, right? Let's check that name. I'm going to call it. And I probably need to do. Oh, no, no, no. Let's build it first so I can get all that back. Code behind back. Build. Uh oh, I am missing all this ugly. I really hate this ugly. Which it wasn't needed. All right. So we are going to deal with getting our image asynchronously and then manually updating it from the song view. All right. You'll notice I don't properly follow MVVM all the way. I'm okay with my view knowing about their binding context. There's times where it's very useful like this, um, especially with asynchronous things. All right. So. Now we can do artwork image. Why not getting that? Long view sells this. It is tied right to that. Tied to song view cell. They're both this. I should be able to just go. This binding, because that's not going to be valid anymore. Oh, I, didn't I just come in here and change this? I am losing my mind. All right, we're just going to leave it as image then. Let's say image dot source equals new. What are my source options? Let's just use um, source. Where is it? URL. What's the forms one called on this? So there's file image source. But isn't there, it's a URI image source? URI image source. All right. And the URI equals, I should probably parse this thing first, but YOLO. URI URL. All right. <laughs> Let's hope this puppy works. All right. And I'm not doing a proper check yet because this could have been scrolling really fast. And then we'll say once we get this thing back, if item is not equal to binding context, just return. Throw that puppy away. We'll use it when they scroll back. Fingers crossed. Oh, wait, I know. I got to use that cell. Now I have to jump into here and do the thing to use my own cells. And data template, I can't remember this thing. I'm going to go steal his again. Yes, yes, yes. I reference my old code on some of this semantics on how these things work all the time. All right, so now on the page, I have to do the he bound that one. I'm going to do that to my own cells instead of his. And that goes to that guy. Except I'm going to change it to my own thing, not his. It's done. We should have some pretty codes. 
I know there's some things that people are doing to make this easier, and we're going to build some of that in. So you don't, your own code should just be there. Um, all right, and then to music. I don't even have to do dot forms because I just call it music. And what's the namespace on those cells? Is it dot views? I think that's right. So now I should be able to go in here and do. That syntax, it is just local. That's the one I was looking for. I did it wrong. This one, yeah, local. All right, so I should just be able to do the cells and then song cell. If someone notices what I'm doing wrong on the line, please tell me. I think that's right, though. I don't know if I have compiled XAML turned on. I don't know if that's the default anymore. Not we'll want to turn that on because then we'd get this instantly. All right, but we should now hopefully get images. Building. Oh, it's trying to build the Android one. I did the build level. That's. Uh, Stop and then run. It's stuck building. It's going to finish. It stops. So any questions on anything I've done so far? Is there anything that you guys would like to see in the next series as I get going? I'd like to finish out some of these views. I can do those live or I can just knock them all out because they're all going to be very similar once I get going. Um, what kind of things do you guys want me to show? I want to get to the audio playback. I want to build some of the fancier things. Uh, now playing screen is going to be a fun one to build. But I'd like to do things that interest you guys. Nothing. Nobody wants to see anything exciting. Come on, debugger. All right. I didn't crash something. Simulator. Maybe force quitting. Visual Studio. I almost said Xamarin Studio. Okay. <laughs> Do all the things. Yes, yes. I had two instances of Visual Studio open, so one of them was locked, and I wonder if it locked the other one up. Let's reload this thing, close that. Back up. Come to life. Quickly. I know, it's just Xamarin Studio. I've been saying that for, or, I don't know, what, eight years? Seven, eight years? Too long. Please launch for me. I wonder if it has a process still stuck. It does. It won't relaunch until that process is dead. Die. Die. You don't get banned for saying things like that in Twitch, do you? Yes, code while that launches. No, you want to. I may have killed Visual Studio, so that may it doesn't say it's locked. Is there more than Oh nope nope no it says it's dead. Alright, I may Oh no it went! I was just impatient. Way too impatient. Okay, so we have it up. Let's run it again. I'm just gonna launch the simulator myself so it's faster. Oh, did I do the right one? Why are those all showing red? I don't know why those are all red. Launch that. Oh, wait, wait, it had a, I saw an invalid cast. We got an exception. What did I do wrong? Oh, wow, my, sorry, my code window is very big and you guys can't see everything and the coding size is not. Let me resize windows. Let's resume back in. Specified cast is invalid. All right, well, let's see what I did wrong there. Long view cell. 
is a view cell. This is a view cell. That looks right. That looks right. <laughs> Content view dot content does not match up. You don't even need that. It's ugly extra syntax that is not needed anyway. So let's run that again. See, deleted two lines and fixed code. If that code was not there, I would have never blown up. Let's hope that's all it was. Okay, yay, please call. All right, I can do that. Application. It wanted me to do, I saw that in the docs and I didn't do it and it's mad at me for not calling it. Maybe that's why it didn't work. We might be going back, people. Um, inside of getting started, it said something about that. All this on each platform. So we're gonna do that here. And now let's go do that in the Android before we forget. Of course, we're going to put on fast renders equals true. Why would you ever ask people to choose between doing fast or slow? Never understood those options. And I should troll you guys and just write false. I need, apparently, it's the first thing. All right, let's just run that again. And if this works, I want to undo and see if I don't need to do all my randomness. But it would have been nice for them to have told me that instead of blowing up. Should have implemented the logging method they uh, offer. I sh they should print something. <gasps> images! Yes, images! All right, let's let's be crazy. Let's take this um, song view cell. We are going to go back in time. Actually, we'll just undo. I don't. I'm scared to undo it on this page. We're gonna do it anyway. All right. Oh nope, I closed. I can't undo. All right, so we are going to go back to this, try one more thing before I end. And if I don't need that, all the better. So in here, inside of this, we're going to comment that line out just so I don't have to bring it back. Pretty format you. Um, source finding equals album, what was it? I should remember the code I wrote. Artwork URL. All right, so let's run this. I'm just going to be amazed if that's all it was. And very sad it didn't blow up predictably. Or at least console right line output all this nonsense. Uh oh, uh oh. What's this? Okay, it did not like that at all. Cast is not valid, so they're casting it. Unless I nested this wrong. I did nest it wrong. That's on me. So. For time. But if you guys do have anything you guys would like to see, feel free to like ask ahead of time, meet me, email me, however you want to do it. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, it's nice to rule that out though. It was not that. That would have just been nice. I'm probably going to come up with something a little bit cleaner than what we just did. Um, I'm not totally in love with that binding context change things. It's necessary evil at times when you have interesting data models like this and you need to be able to wait. Um, so I'm not against it. It's not bad. This would also give me a chance to reset it um, to my SVG stuff if needed or whatever. So I'll probably do their templated things and use the SVGs for the default. I may bring in my own SVGs. I don't know. But we have images. And I may or may not bring in my image sizing for the screens, but that's not too bad scrolling. It's a little skippy. I don't know if you can see that on the stream, but it's a little skippy. I wonder if it's my commenting or whatnot. Maybe we'll profile this later because I don't like skippy. We can do this fast. It could be I'm console out writing light right lining like crazy. So maybe I'll need to kill that. But alright, we have images. They're loading. 
on the song cells, I might be knocking this down to a base class of a media item base view cell. So that way, if we do stick with this, we can reuse that for artists, genres, and all that nonsense. Everybody gets it. And yeah, I like it. Um, any questions before I end? I went longer than I was planning on today. Ran into a few issues, but we solved them. All right, guys, I guess we'll end then. Um, look forward to doing this again next week. Um, I'll talk to you guys later.